What's up, Cancer, Kings, Queens, and everything in between? I am Austria Evanbada Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Cancer Singles for the fourth week of July through the fourth week of August. Cancer Singles, and this will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Please be sure to only take what resonates with you. If this message does not resonate, please be sure to check out your other placements. All right. Right, so we have truth and expression and we have reflection projection so some of you guys could be dealing with a twin flame during this time i'm also getting that um you need to be honest with yourself and what you want moving forward during this time here all right Right, so we have epiphany breakthrough we have party external we have attraction mars hot you could be dealing with an aries or someone that has aries in their chart or that could be clarification if you have aries in yours we also have Sun, Strength, and Empowerment. Um, you could also be dealing with the Leo, someone with Leo on their chart, or you could have Leo in yours here. All right. So some of you guys are trying to build up the um, gall, strength, whatever you want to call it, to, to like re reunite with someone or to like pull someone back into your energy here is what I'm really getting. It's like you want to be with someone that could possibly have um, moved away from you here. And you're wanting to pull them back in. Is what I'm really getting during this time. I just saw restricted. Alright, let's see. Let's see what past energy is moving out for you guys during this time. The past energy moving out, the current energy coming in, and what challenges you guys are facing during this time. Let's go ahead and see. Thank you. All right. All right. And we have under pressure here, as well as nothing solid. Um, you or the person that you're interested in could feel like what you have to offer isn't anything solid here. They could also feel like either you or they had a situation where there was some sort of third party situation here. And I'm sorry, y'all, because this is a singles message, but I mean, I can only give what I get, what I got. Some of you guys feel like you are having trouble dating um, because your heart is kind of cold to, to it all because of some sort of third party situation in the past. All right, we have making an effort. I'm willing to put forth the work um, to have and have to have our happily ever after. So someone is wanting to put in the work here with you, or that was the past energy moving out, and this could have been your energy. You were willing to put in the work with someone in the past, but now it's like maybe not so much. All right, let's see here. Let me make an effort. Let me make an effort in the recent past. All right, so Seven of Pentacles um, in the reverse here. This is definitely the sense of someone that felt like their time was wasted in the recent past. They had a lot of frustration here. They felt like things were not um, going the way in which they wanted. So I'm getting that um, 
you could have been putting in a lot of effort or someone else could have been putting in a lot of effort towards the relationship but they felt like the relationship was not moving forward here yeah three of pentacles like in order for you guys to kind of come together and work together it wasn't really moving forward though in the recent past here yeah but it's something about this relationship that you already kind of knew that things weren't going to work during this time For some of you, you could have been getting downloads and you kind of sabotaged the union because of that, is what I just heard. A lot of you guys are holding on um, to your love during this time. You're not really expressing that, you know, how you care for this person or whatever like that. Let's see this current energy. We got jealousy. So it says, it kills me knowing there could be someone else in your life. So a lot of you guys are upset. And this could be your person's energy as well. Why is jealousy here, spirit? Why is jealousy here? That's crazy, though. Because I'm getting, like, whatever's jealous is the sense of, like, you're only jealous because they got somebody else. Not because you want to be that someone else. All right, yeah, the world card in the reverse here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn here. Or you could be dealing with the Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. But yeah, something's not over here. Definitely not in the current moment. Sagittarius energy with the temperance card. This is definitely about kind of healing the relationship. Yeah, four of swords. Trying to figure out how you can heal it. Yeah, definitely sitting back and reflecting to try to figure out how you guys can move forward. Because you could have felt like you were on a break from this person and then this person got a new person. And you were like, what the fuck? Yeah, you want to know exactly what they want to do moving forward because you do not want to be juggled in this situation. Like at all. Yeah, and this is the challenge compromise. And I said that a third party situation, right? And that's what this card always gives me because it's, you know, the triangle. It says, let's find a way to compromise instead of giving up on our love. But it's like this person has already kind of walked out sort of kind of by having a different situation. So you're like, what the fuck? I don't know if I want to compromise with you now. Because you're already doing little shady shit. Like, what's the purpose of that? All right, let's see. What, what's compromised here, spirit? What's compromised here? What's compromised? Thank you. All right, we got the Ten of Swords here. Okay. The Nine of Cups and the Eight of Wands. So it's like you're separated, and if you are separated, please check out your um, separated no contact no contact message. It should already be up. But this is definitely a sense of you being separated from someone that is what you feel is like a soulmate energy, love of your life energy, and you're wanting things to move forward with this person. But you want it to move forward alone. You don't want to have to have other people here. You want this person to cut off cut off someone in the past you could be dealing with a gemini here with the king of swords and the lovers card possibly even dealing with a um, taurus here but you're wanting this person to cut off um this person this distraction from you in order for you guys to move forward and i'm not really getting the energy though that they're going to do that If you're interested in a personal message, I do give those. The information is in the description box below. What's coming? What's the intentions? And what doesn't cancer know? Hmm.
All right, we got love, hate. It says, I'm angry, but I still love you. Just hate what you do. And then we also have casual sex. So yeah, this person is possibly in some sort of casual relationship with someone else here. Friendship, some sort of like friends with benefits situation. Yeah. All right, so we got not for you. It says, let's not continue this madness. It's best if we just moved on. So it's like this person could be upset that you are, you know, expressing your disdain for the situation you know and they're like well how can you tell me who i can or what i can do or whatever the fuck so they're like okay well i'm not gonna do what you asked me to is what i'm really thinking like i'm not gonna do what you asked me to do um some of you could have initiated the separation or the breakup in the beginning and that's why they feel this way but for others it's more so like you're not gonna have me on this roller coaster ride with you is what i'm getting Who's not for cancer? All right. We got the Wheel of Fortune here. So it's definitely time to end some sort of cycle here. And I'm giving it, I'm getting that it is with the person that you had some sort of situation with here in the past. It's time to end that cycle and to be able to really move forward here. Because a lot of you guys, it's a new love trying to come in, but this person's energy is kind of keeping them at bay. Yeah, but uh, and I'm also getting that you kind of already know that. You kind of already know that some sort of love is coming in for you. But that new person, um, they can't come in because you are dealing with someone else right now. Yeah, you're holding on to the past. And the moon is Cancer's energy here. You need to let go of the past and be able to move forward here. Okay. Because whatever thought process that you have for this relationship in the past and however you felt like this was going, it's not going that way. Um, you could be dealing with the Libra here or a Libra could be coming in. Maybe even a Leo. But I already said that. All right, we got divine timing. It says trust in the perfection of divine timing. So yeah, that's what, um, you know, the, these are the intentions. The universe is setting you up for something very good. Okay, but you have to let go of what is not working for you. Because it's like this person keep playing games with you anyway. Why are you gonna keep allowing them to? And that's what I'm really getting that that epiphany is about. It's about no longer allowing someone to play with your heart. All right. Yep. Eight of Cups. Deciding to walk away from this situation. Deciding to walk away from this situation here. Yeah. And a lot of you could be watching this person. Um, this old person. Um, but I'm getting some of you have. And if that's the case, stop. It's not helping you. But I'm also getting some of you guys could possibly have a secret admirer here. Death card here. Um, Scorpio energy. Definitely giving you that energy. Well, things are transforming. Things are moving forward. You know, that's why this person isn't for you because things are moving forward. You don't need to still be stuck in this place with this person because this person doesn't have anything real to offer you. This person could possibly be some sort of toxic energy that you're really needing to release. You could have been dealing with the Capricorn here, an Aquarius or an Aries. Um, also, I'm getting Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it was like a lot of passion in this union, a lot of um, sexual energy, a lot of um, sexual bonding. And people don't realize that when you have sex with people, um, that like that really does bond you. Like those first a few days after it, it's like you only thinking about this person. And I just saw 444, look at that spirit number. And it's a reason for that, you know. We got nostalgia. It's been hard not to think of what used to be. And that's this energy that you're you're in right now. You're finding it very hard to not think about this person, to not want um, what you had with this person. And that's okay, but you still have to move forward. Like, and that's it. You still have to move forward. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, what's going on with this person or not. All right. 
Yep. Because this person hurt you. They disappointed you. And this is why you're needing to move forward from this person. You're needing to let your heart be healed. And no longer be in a place of lust here and desire with this person. Because a lot of you, this person is not even somebody that you would necessarily be with. It's just that the sex and shit got you confused, baby. Seven of Swords here. Yeah, this person. It's like you're you're you've been given a way to escape from this shit. Okay? Take it. Okay. And your person is a fucking liar and manipulator anyway. So yeah, fuck the fuck that. Yeah, we also have the King of Cups and, and the Five of Cups here. This person may try to come back to you on some, I just love you so much, but don't allow that shit because this person um, is continuously blocking your real true love that's trying to come towards you. Okay? Could be dealing with a Pisces or an Aquarius here. All right. Let's see. Let's see what signs you guys are doing during this time. Oh, you got the moon. It's a cancer energy. We have Aries. We have Sagittarius. We have Jupiter, so Sagittarius again. And then we have Cancer. Okay, y'all. So definitely dealing with the Cancer, Aries, or Sagittarius, or someone that has that in their chart. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your. <clears throat> Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys in full. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.